Now guys, welcome back to part two of making the song. Today what we're gonna do is actually mix the beat. And then next video, we're gonna mix vocals. We're gonna mix it a little bit more and then we're gonna master the song completely. So like I said in the last video that I was gonna work on the song and add and subtract some stuff. So I added some claps here. I changed the clap pattern, also the kick pattern, and I added like some effects and a bell here. So I'm gonna play the song for you guys so you guys can hear how it sounds now. The clap pattern here, just a little intro. be like the second verse and then the outro along with the hook so that's pretty much the beat right there so what we're gonna start is actually leveling everything okay so we're gonna start with the bells so what I want to do is actually lower the bells and I don't want to move the fader yet so what I'm gonna do is actually just bring down the gain from like the actual loop so I'm gonna bring it down Probably about three dBs. Probably a little bit more. That's good there. So, so the loop is actually getting bust to bus 16, and this is gonna be the one I really control. So all I did was just EQ it, and then from here. I want to move it on to the 808s. So we're just going to level everything before we actually start EQing and compressing. I want to bring that down a little bit. I just want to level everything try to hit with the loop I want to hit around what was I hitting like negative 18 and then for the 8 away I want to hit in between 6 and 9 also the kick and the clap I'm <clears throat> gonna aim for like negative 12 that's there and the percussion is too loud so I want to I want to bring the percussion because I don't want it to be louder than the clap. I just kind of want it to be sitting under the clap. So for that, I'm going to also bring it down from the loop. I mean, from the drum kit itself.
down also. There we go. You see the bell? So that's pretty much all the sounds that I want leveled. So right now we're on the our stereo output we're hitting about negative two. So right now what I want to do is sidechain the 808 to the kick so that way they won't be fighting for frequency. So I already found I already sidechained it. I'm just gonna bring the threshold down. Okay, so now that we have that side chain, we're just gonna start EQing everything and the bounds are pretty much EQ, so I don't wanna touch that. So I wanna do the clap. And for the clap, I always do the same thing. I just kinda roll off the lows. Like all this unnecessary stuff. gonna go down each um, instrument and just EQ it so for the kick I'm gonna I'm gonna EQ it before I put the overdrive so for the kick I just want to bring down the 400s also on the 250 so it's like just the air of the kick and I just want to bring out some of the Overdrive to lower this. So then I also put a snap also, but I threw that at the end. So let me show that. That's just the add variation. So it won't just be the same thing. I want to EQ this. Okay, there we go. So then we're gonna go to hi hats, EQ the hi hats.
see any silhouette. start with the bells I just want to drop like just nothing serious just like a simple compressor on the bells and for that I'm just gonna use a regular C1 compressor and I'm just gonna do a probably a four to one ratio <laughs> so I don't want to compress it too much. I just kind of want uh, where it jumps to be compressed. So nothing too serious. And then from here. What I want to do is I want to move this down so I'm going to work from the 808 and I want to add this wave uh, plugin. It's the, I think it's called the Max Bass. And from here we're just going to play with the 808 trying to get probably the most out of it. So I'll probably start with here, the medium. how it sounds with it off and then I'm gonna turn it back on I'm gonna turn it on so it just brings it out a little bit more and then now that we have pretty much the most out of it I just want to recompress it and then just leave it as it is. So I'm going to use the R1 compressor from Waves. I'm just going to do a, I just want a two to one ratio. work on the kick and I want to there's a kick since it has overdrive already I don't want to like over compress it much so I'm just gonna do I'm gonna use um, <clears throat> use the H compressor from waves and I'm just gonna do the same thing a three to one ratio and just barely touch it
So I'm gonna leave it like that. And then same thing with the clap, but I'm gonna do the same thing to the clap. I'm gonna use the same compressor as I used on the kick, the H compressor. I'm gonna do the same three to one ratio. I go I just want to compress it so when that part comes and all the claps are coming in that way it could just level everything and I'm also going to do other stuff to it so like I kind of want to humanize this part so that way it just gives like a human clap feel since I didn't play I just drew everything in I just want to come here go to humanize and then click select and operate and it, as you can see here it messed it up so what I want to do here is because I use the 64 note, I want to go to 64, highlight that, and then just quantize that part there. So I'm okay part here too. I usually just do this wherever the 64th notes are. Because that's usually where they kind of overlap, as you can see here. I'm going to quantize it. There we go. Here. I think that's it. So then I just want to. And then I also want to add some variation to it. So I'm going to add random velocity. I want to keep it at 127. I'll probably do. Probably 115, see how that looks. So as you can see, all these are random velocities that it's gonna put the clap in. So that way some claps are louder and then some are quieter and then with the human feel, it just gives it like a whole nother different feel to it. And then I'm gonna keep the claps the same here. So now I'm gonna have it EQ'd and compress. I have the kick, the snaps, I'll do that later. So the hi-hats, I'm not gonna do anything to the hi-hats other than I'm gonna humanize them and then do the same thing with the random velocity. Then humanize it, so I can operate. Notes for the 64th notes. So then now that it's humanized, I want to do the same thing, random velocity. So that way it just gives it uh, another like element to a human feel. So for this, what I want to do, is I want to start at 90 and probably just throw this anywhere. It's not a big deal to me. So as you can see, the hi-hats are a bit quieter now. So now I want to go in it and just pick up the volume up a little. And I'm going to delete these. And then just... That way they're all the same. You could also like highlight like a whole group. Like if you want to highlight all these and then humanize it and then give it a random velocity that way every section is different you could also do that or if you don't mind just looping it so then the percussion i'm gonna do the same thing i'm just gonna grab them all and i'm gonna humanize it you don't have to worry about this so if you play everything by hand you don't have to worry about doing this whole humanize and random velocity so we're gonna do this
So as you can see, they're all different, like variations in the color. So that just adds a whole nother element to it. And I'm gonna do it to the hi-hats also. So I usually do this to all the elements, except for like the kick and the clap here. I usually kind of keep that on tempo. But other than that, I just humanize everything and I put like random velocity on everything. So that way it just adds a lot to it. also do it to this but I think I'm gonna keep it the bell I'm gonna keep the bell how it is so it's pretty much how the beat is sounding now that we just EQ'd and leveled everything and did a little bit of compressing going to do it I think I did the snaps you can have a section of the snaps I'm gonna humanize this also and I'm just gonna do the same thing I did with the claps so humanize it zoom in look for the 64th you don't have to worry about other rules I've noticed only with the 64 notes is when they kind of really overlap sometimes and sometimes they like layer double it like they'll double like if you have a hi-hat roll at 64 they'll put two two notes at the same time so it just makes it sound harsh and then from there random velocity I think I had at 118 and the, the snaps are sounding like this now So I didn't, I didn't compress it, so I'm gonna compress that right now. Same three to one ratio. So that's how that's pretty much the beat right there for mixing wise that's how i'm gonna keep it i just want to level it eq it and compress it i don't plan on doing anything else other than just little stuff here and there towards the end but for now i just want to bring everything down so that way it gives room for the vocals which we're gonna mix on the next video so i just kind of want to bring everything down probably about to negative six Also, we could do the reverb, but I think I want to do the add reverb to the instruments towards the end, like after we mix the vocals. So 
I'm gonna leave it like this for now. I'm probably just gonna add the vocals and now in the next video we're gonna mix it. So if you watched in the end, I just wanna say thank you for watching. My name's David. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll let and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.